What's up guys, I'm Shubham and I have a question for you today. So do you know how to integrate Bard AI into your Python or Django application? Take a moment, think about it and let me know in the comments below. This is because I know all the previous methods by using the package is not really working anymore or at least not working efficiently anymore because Google has put up a captcha in Bard now. So that's why old methods won't really work. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to officially integrate Bard AI into your Django or Python application. So make sure to watch this video entirely because I'm going to not just show you all how to integrate by code, but I'm going to also show you all how to apply for it, how to generate its keys and how to use it in your code. If you are interested in tech and programming related content, make sure to subscribe to our channel because I make content related to that. So now let's jump into the application. This is the website uh, where you all are going to apply for the Bard AI and uh, make uh, I will link this in the description below. So make sure to go over there and apply for it. And uh, you will need of course a Google account to apply for it. And once you are done with the application, uh, you will receive a mail maybe in few days, maybe it might even take weeks. For me, I think it almost took a week to get this access. And once uh, you have the email, it will have a button. And when you click on that button, it will lead you to this website. Okay. And I will link this one also in the comments so you all can check that out. And once you are over here, we just have to click on start developing to generate your API key. There are two parts for this configuration. Uh, one is this and another one I'm going to show you all after this. So we'll click on this and what I'm going to do is create a new project. Uh, I am going to copy this one and keep it somewhere safe. So I'm going to go to VS code and for now I'm going to keep it over here. I'm going to close this and what we have to do is we have to go to the Google project cloud project. Okay. So I'm going to click on this icon because we have to do another configuration over there. And instead of in credentials, we are going to click on this one. I'm going to go to I am admin and then where we are going to go is we'll go to service accounts. Once you're in service account, we are going to configure one. So I will say create a uh, service account. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to say uh, for Bard AI. Okay. And then click on create and continue. And I'm going to just skip this one also because it is optional continue. And I'm going to skip this one also done. Once this is done, we will click on this to open it and we will go to permission, not permissions, but to the keys. Over here, we are going to click and create a new key and we are going to generate a JSON key. So I'm going to click create and I will save this, save it to your project folder because it is important and make sure not to commit this file because it will expose your keys, uh, which you don't really want to do because it can be used for fraudulent purposes or for anything. So our keys are generated. I'm going to close this and we'll jump into the code. Now I have my environment already activated and what we'll do is uh, we'll start by installing Django. So pip env install Django. Then we are going to install another package that is called as oh wait, let me tell you pip install. It is called pip env install. I'm going to paste it over here. Google generative AI. If you all don't really know, then so our package is being installed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the code repo in the description. So you all can check the code also. Now, since our packages are installed, uh, we are going to start by creating our project and app. So I'm going to create the project. So project is start project and I will call it as SRC. We'll navigate inside SRC, then Django admin start app and I will call this as demo. So our apps are done app and project installations are done we'll go inside src then we'll go to settings.py and over here we'll do few settings okay so first will be we'll create our template uh, directory so i will call it as template underscore dir this will take in base directory slash templates and after that i'm going to also create another variable called as paml uh, because that is the name of the Google's uh, language basically and I'm going to say API underscore key. There are two things you all can do. You all can directly paste the key over here, the key which we generated over here. Second thing will be to uh, install a package environ and create .env file and over there uh, what you all can do is 
put up the key and use it over here so right now i'm going to just put it over here make sure not to commit this key as well because anything can go wrong because of that and then we are going to install demo over here that is our project sorry app inside our project and we'll copy this template dir and we'll go to templates dir install it over here so this is done now we'll go to demo views.py we need two views one will be to load our index page or index.html uh, so the u where the ui will be there and the second one will be used to like uh, send api calls to that and get google bart's response so first we'll create our index uh, view so dev index this will be taking in request and in request what we'll have is uh, return sorry in uh, index will have is return renderer and we have to pass in request over here and then the template name so i'm going to call it as index.html which will create uh, soon then second view will be uh, let's say what i'll call it as google bard response and that is what i'm going to call it as so google bard response this will also take in request and once we have the request in hand we'll call another function which will create soon and from there we'll get response which will be uh, doing the communication with the bard and returning us with the response and over here we are just going to return the response so for that i'm going to import uh, http response so from django dot http import http response all right and we'll call the function over here so um, the function will be giving us a response response will be equal to get response that is what i'm going to call the function as and in that what we'll pass is whatever the user gives us right so say user asks us a question uh, like how are you so that will come in request and that we have to pass into the uh, bard so that's why we are going to take it from the uh, param query param and it will be called as prompt and then over here we are going to do is http response and there should be a return over here and we have to do is json dumps because uh, json uh, response this will be response and content type will be equal to application slash json i know i have to import json and create the function so import json one issue solved another one is to create this response so for that we'll create another file which will solely do is interact with the bard so i will call it as google bard dot <laughs> pi not ai and over here we have to import few things okay not few uh, yeah is actually few things because we also need uh, this key from here that is this PML key over here. So I'm going to import our first Django settings. So from django.conf import settings and I will keep this ready handy settings dot key. So the package which we installed, we have to import that. So import Google dot generative AI as PML and also we need to import os so import os because there is one configuration which requires os so first let's write our configuration and then create our function okay and we'll try to run it i will show you all what problem comes and then we'll come and fix again okay so what we'll do is paml dot configure and over here we have to pass in token token will be the api key which is present over here so our paml configuration is done now we'll create our function so it will be dev get response and this will take in prompt over here we have to call the google right bard so for that uh, the command is uh, not really command the functions or methods are uh, paml dot chat and that is where we are going to send our prompt and to the variable which we are going to tackle is or like address is messages and that will take in prompt and we are going to say response over here let's print the response as well so print response just to verify what comes in our response and we'll return the response so this is also ready quickly we'll go over everything we have done till now so first of all we have done all these configurations 
created our API key template directory configurations and demo app configuration. Then we have, uh, then we went ahead to views.py created our index.view, uh, which just renders our index.html, which we'll create soon. Then we have created another function of view, which is called as Google Bart response, which takes in response from get response and gives it a request.get.get prompt. Okay. That means whatever the message will be passed into the URL or basically query param, you can say that will be accessed over here and passed to this get response. And then that is return and get response function does uh, is chat with the Google Bard, take its response and return it. We have to make certain changes over here, but I want to show you all what happens when we do this. And before that, we have also made configuration for that. One thing over here is sorry about that. We have to import this, right? So that will come from, from dot Google Bard import get response. So views.py is ready and Google, uh, Google Bard is also almost ready. I will show you all what we have to do next. So we'll go to urls.py and we will create two new path. And before that I'm going to import the views. So import. Uh, it is sorry from uh, demo import views and on blank path we are going to load our index function so that our ui loads so views dot index and on get barred response we are going to load the other uh, view function so views dot google bar response so our urls dot pi is also ready now we just have to create our index dot html so we'll go in the main src that is like top level and we'll create a new folder or file basically file will we have to create so i use this shortcut so template slash that will create the folder directly and index.html so it went ahead it created a folder called as uh, templates and then inside that index.html is created and this video is mainly about integrating uh, google bard ai into django to create a chatbot right so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to really focus on index.html i'm going to just copy paste it and explain to you all what i have done and this uh, ui will be exact similar to how it was done for the chat gpt video so if you want to see how to integrate chat GPT in Django, you all can check my video. I will link it in the I button. So check that out as well. So now index.html is ready. This is just another HTML file with some headers and stylings. Then we have chatbot or uh, chatbot UI present over here. Nothing fancy. Then I have linked jQuery created two functions or basically uh, like we can see one function and one event listener. So whenever we click on uh, like a message is sent, this event listener will be invoked and will be picking up what message was sent by the user. We'll take that message and we'll send it to this URL, right? So uh, the uh, Google Bard response and that is the URL we have. This is the URL that we want to create actually. So this function will be called which will interact with the Google Bard and get, uh, give us a response over here. And once we have a response, we are just going to append it to the UI. So that's it. That is all about our front end or index.html. So now let's go ahead, run the project and test it out. What error we get? It is interesting to see. CD source. Let me clear it. Python manage.py. Sorry, I am at a wrong level. So Python manage.py run server. Over here in Google Bard, it is not token in configure, but it is API key. Okay. So that was a small hiccup and that's fixed. We'll go on this URL and this is how the UI looks like. Okay. I'll click on inspect and we are going to say hi. Before that, we'll go to network and click on send hi. We should get error definitely. So if you see, uh, I had printed over here, right? A response and this is the response that we get. So chat response, uh, these are all the information. This was the message that I had sent uh, like content high and then author, we got response as this, right? 
so in order to access the response what we have to do is response dot last and that is what google has said we have to use that in order to get a response and we'll go again and say hello hopefully now we should get some response yes hello how can i help you today so that is what google bard has responded us with what is the weather today in goa so this is how we integrate google bard ai into our django application to create a chatbot you all can use the same code for python as well and that will work perfectly fine and this won't really have any efficiency issue like uh, key getting expired in 10 minutes like the other package which most of y'all must be using or like most of the videos are created about so this won't really have that performance issue now interesting thing to note in this video is that previously when i was testing this video right or uh, testing this code google was giving me error uh, like error because i was not providing with google's json file okay the key file which we had generated uh, at the start so Google wasn't really uh, giving me responses without configuring that key, but somehow it is working now. And let's say if you all get that error, right, I'm going to just copy paste it, uh, what you all have to do and you'll just do that and it should work perfectly fine. Okay. So the thing is we have to add os.environ and then Google application credential. This is what we have to give and uh, the file name we have to give. I'm going to rename this copy and paste it over here so that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel because i make uh, python django and programming related content and see you in the next one